In an electrolysis problem, we need to recall that a Faraday, which is the charge carried by a mole of electrons, is 9.65 times 10 to the fourth coulombs. And a coulomb is 1 ampere times 1 second. Now here we're taking potassium chromate. Let's examine the nature of this species. In aqueous solution, it will contain potassium ions and chromate ions. And we are electrolyzing this to give chromium metal. Now the oxidation number of chromium in chromium metal is clearly zero. It's the element. What is the oxidation number of chromium in chromate? We have 4 times negative 2 for the oxygens. Therefore, the chromium is plus 6 to give the net charge of negative 2 on the iron. So, for each chromium atom, we have to deliver 6 electrons to reduce it from plus 6 to 0. Well, the number of Faraday's passed in this electrolysis is 50.0 amperes times 10.0 hours times 60.0 minutes per hour times 60.0 seconds per minute divided by 9.65 times 10 to the fourth ampere seconds per Faraday. And that equals 18.65. Therefore, the number of moles of chromium deposited equals 18.65 Faradays times one mole of chromium for every six Faradays. If one atom of chromium is deposited by the action of six electrons, one mole of, of chromium is deposited by the action of six Faradays. And that equals 3.1 moles. So the number of grams of chromium is 3.11 moles. Times 52.00 grams of chromium per mole of chromium equals 162 grams. Even for this substantial current passing for most of a day, 10 hours, we are only getting about 3 moles of chromium. Nevertheless, if we're doing chromium plating, 3 moles of chromium will go a long way. Notice, this is chromium-6, a compound, a state of chromium we will touch on when we talk about pollution of the environment. In the neighborhood of places that used to house electroplating plants, there is sometimes detectable chromium-6 in the soil and in the groundwater. And chromium-6 is a hazardous, toxic material which is very probably a carcinogen.